Roethlisberger looking to throw. And no, it falls incomplete. So the two-point conversion, no good. And in the third quarter here, they were trying to push that to a three-point game, but instead it'll stay at one. And I'm a big proponent of not chasing points or going for two too early. But in this case, I understand why. You know, if you kick an extra point, you're just up two, yeah. right? So a field goal still puts the other team ahead. So you go for two here and protect the field goal lead. They didn't get it done, though. The New York set to take the field. And they will simply, Charles, be looking to duplicate what they did last drive when they were able to push it in for six. And they hope it'll be that easy, right, to be able to take exactly what happened before replicate it. They have to make a few additional changes along the way because I'm sure the defense will make some adjustments, but they've got to have great confidence having scored the last time out. Second down now after the pass completion. Now Manning throwing on second down. And a big loss here as he's taken down. Cameron Hayward able to get in and run him down for a loss of 14. Back now in Pittsburgh, and we've got a dandy here. A one-point game as we begin the fourth. The Steelers insert their nickel defense on third down. Yeah, they add a DB. Manning, he's got a rifle one deep left side. They were trying to get it there to Sterling Shepard, and now it's fourth down. One thing I know from experience is that when the deep ball is thrown and you're the defender, you've got to fight that little bit of panic that emerges. You've got to play the ball really well. It's a 50-50 jump ball play. And guess what? They took a shot. How are you going to win it? And in this case, they managed to get it done. One score down. Here we go. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. Now Manning, got to have this one. He finds Beckham complete. 22 yards on the pick up there. And they're able to move the chains as they convert on fourth and long. Now the offense lining up first and 10. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he is swallowed up right at the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. Looking to speed things up here, going with some tempo. Throwing his Manning. So nothing there, but maybe you blame that on the blocking. Yeah, at some point, you've got to win at the point of attack. And on that play, that was all the defense. They made it happen. So many times you hear today's NFL described as a space game. Get your best players into space with the football in their hands. That's why sometimes you swing it out to your runner, get him out in the flat, and let him have a chance to make people miss an open field. It's a gain of 14 there, and the Giants are going to get a first down. Now a play fake here on first down. Hits his target, the tight end, Will tie. And this time not quite to the 30. It'll be down at the 31-yard line. And they're going to speed things up here. So much goes into a successful play, doesn't it? How about that play action there? Freezing the defense just enough. Swing the tight end free downfield for the completion. Underneath for Jennings. And down inside the 15 he goes. They give him 17 yards that time as that'll move the chains. We always talk about having to read defenses and how complicated that is. Well, this was an excellent read. Read the pressure and got rid of the football before it even got to him for a nice game. And when they're blitzing like that, running back usually a good spot to go with a football? Without a doubt, because he's right in your sight line or he's near you. So you're able to just get it to him easily. And once he gets in space, that's usually a good matchup for him. Back to the air on second down. It's Manning. And that one almost intercepted. Far too loose with the football here. Nearly a fourth pick, and it's third down. And now for the offense, this is play number 11 here on this drive. Throwing his Manning on third down, and he will take it on in for a giant touchdown. 
Sterling Shepard from 13 yards out. A big play looming for the Giants as they'll go for two. And the G-Men have taken the lead here in the fourth. Eli's going to throw. And look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. Picked off by Ryan Shazier. And to the 12. That's where it stops. The return is halted at the 12-yard line. After the touchdown, it's Robbie Gold now to kick it away. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. And Pittsburgh getting set to take the field. And that recipe on their last drive that resulted in the touchdown looked pretty good, so they'll be hoping to do that once more. That takes me back to when we sat with the offensive coordinator and the head coach. They felt pretty good about their game plan and thought there were some holes in the defense, and they exploited on the last time out. Let's see if they can come back and put together a similar drive. And we'll see if they can do just that. They come up with one running back. That's Bell. And they'll get it up the middle. So a nice job to break the one tackle, but not much daylight after that as he's brought down. Jonathan Hankins in on the stop. Tough day, tough sledding right there, and it's been that way the entire game. Not a whole lot of room to ramble for him. Yeah, you're right. It's been that way all afternoon. Didn't get a whole lot better there. On second down, here's Roethlisberger. Pass incomplete. It's a tried and true formula, and I don't think it'll change for as long as we play football. If someone's trying to throw the ball and you can put pressure on them and make it tough, that's only going to help your defense. Yeah, he's since being hurried. He got rid of it before taking the hit, but incomplete. And oh, a crusher there as it's intercepted. A great read, and it's picked off. And they'll set up shop right near midfield at the 49-yard line. And at this stage of the game, time a factor, time on their side as they just try to eke out the final precious moments of this one. Manning now to throw. And look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. Picked off by Lawrence Timmons. And he'll get this one out to the 50 to the midfield stripe. And now out come the Steelers. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive? Or no, you just throw that out the window. I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack them here. Give them three yards and a fresh set of downs. They're going to hurry back to the line now. Second and one, and people want to run the football. This is where every back in the league is supposed to do exactly what we just saw there. Pick up the first down. They go play action here on first down. Man open right side. It's Rodgers. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. It's a gain of 20 that time. And that'll be good for a Pittsburgh first. Time for a break. We'll come back for the electrifying conclusion after this. So here we go, first and 10 now. They come up with one running back. That's Bell. He'll get the football here. And he'll take this one down near the 15. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. That's a good play by the guys on the defensive side of the ball. Held him to a gain of two. And that changes the playbook a little bit now for the guy calling plays. Second and eight. Now he's got to probably think about going to the air instead of maybe staying with the ground game. They come out with one back and three tight ends. Again, it's Bell. And he's swallowed up right near the line of scrimmage. Officially no gain on the play, and they're left with a third and eight. And now it looks like they're going to be in the hurry up. there that would have been ball game if he had clinched it and caught it instead it gives him one more chance here on fourth down and down by five they've got to go for it here on fourth down 
They'll look to throw. And this is caught. Touchdown. And they've taken the lead here in the final minute. So many practices we watched over time where the offense works on scoring late in the game and finding a way to win, as we just saw there. Just saw it right there. Now can they preserve that advantage that they just got? And they'll get set here looking for the two-point conversion. Roethlisberger looking to throw. And this is caught. And it's a three-point game. So they make the decision. They want a three-point lead versus a two-point lead, and they got it. Yeah, at this stage of the game, it seems like the exact right thing to do. Put a little pressure on your defense, but the biggest thing now is you're making the other team chase you. This is taken about seven yards deep. And with time a factor here late, he'll just take a knee and they'll put it out to the 25. Here's the Giant offense now making their way back out onto the field. They're only in need of a field goal, a decent amount of time on the clock. So tell me if I'm wrong. You don't have to be too panicked here. No, not. And, oh, a crusher there as it's intercepted. A great read and it's picked off. And he'll get this back to the 32-yard line. The Steelers' offense now, they head back onto the field. They have the three-point lead. Defense did their job. Now, late game. Although it looks good, you know the coaches, they haven't counted this as a victory yet. I agree with you totally. Big applause for the defense, but no one has taken their headset off on the sidelines. They don't believe this game is over. The offense has to close this one out by taking care of the football. They'll try to close it out now. Now flags will come in. I think this one's going to be on the defense for jumping. Just one yard to go here on second down. Roethlisberger going to throw it. He's got his man on the crossing route. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. It's an eight-yard pickup and leads to a new set of downs. Now hold everything here. We're going to get a timeout by the offense. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. Now a play fake. Oh, no, he lost the football. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. the clock is not your friend how do you handle this situation you're thinking two plays one to get yourself in position for the second one whether you're able to get into field goal range or you have to try another deep pass another hail mary and got his man complete and he's across for the touchdown and it's likely the game winner here in the closing stages. I think it'd be real easy here to focus on maybe a defensive breakdown with that type of a play in this situation. But let's give a little bit of credit here. That type of play is clutch. Boy, it was clutch, but to turn it back to the defense, how crushing is that? You think you got this thing won, and in the last moments, almost literally, you lose it. Snatching defeat from the jaws of victory. After the touchdown, it's Robbie Gold now to kick it away. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. And the steal. Now whistles come in. We're going to get a timeout here by the offense. That'll be their third and final stoppage here as we step aside. One last shot for Roethlisberger. He's going to let it fly. And it's incomplete. So their final drive comes up empty. And with that, the ball game is over. Well, going into the final play of this game, they knew that they needed some type of a miracle there at the very end, but they couldn't get it done. However, we were treated to really a spectacular affair. Even though they didn't finish it off, 
You're exactly right. They took us down to the last play. We're